it's Patty. So today I am going to be sharing with you a back to school homeschool haul. So I thought it would be fun to share what I picked up to get us ready for our year of preschool, pre-K four with my daughter. And I'm going to incorporate my son who's almost two into this stuff too. So I thought it would be fun to share with you what I picked up. Um, we didn't really need to invest in a curriculum this year, which I know this can get pretty pricey. Um, and since we didn't have to invest into any um, specific curriculum or anything like that, I was able to get a few things that I had on my list for a while. So let me go ahead and share with you what I got. So. The first one is more like office supplies and it is just the thermal laminating pouches by the Scotch brand and I got 100 sheets. I was um, trying to get the Amazon ones but they were completely out of stock so I went ahead and got the Scotch ones and I got this for like $11 which I thought was a really good deal for 100 of them. And I've had my laminating machine for five years now and it is still going strong so if you don't have a laminating machine and you homeschool I definitely recommend getting one. So the next thing are a few things I picked up from Michaels. I had these on my wish list for the kids for a long time and they are from Amazon and all of the homeschool bloggers had this on their like must have supply list. They say the watercolors on these are so much better than the like other brands that you would get. And on Amazon, they usually range from like $10 to $12, and they have them right now at Michael's for $5. So I went ahead and picked up two palettes, one for each of my kids. Um, so, and I figured um, I this we can all share, and if I'm painting, I can use one of the kids' palettes or whatever. So I was super excited to find these at Michael's. The next thing I picked up from Michaels. It's like their creation brand that they carry a lot of art supplies. We just picked up some glitter glue pens. We'll be using these every week. So I had some that um, I had from the dollar store that I've had for a long time and we needed a restock. So I went ahead and picked these up. Um, the last thing I purchased from Michaels was this box and I actually got this idea from the Pineapple Nest. Um, if you don't follow her on Instagram, I'll leave her Instagram listed down below. She's amazing. And she did like this, she showed a picture of her son doing like the sand tracing and this. And I thought it was such a great idea. So I went ahead and picked up the box so that Leah can do like her letter tracing in the box. So I just do it with salt um, and I'm going to be putting that in there. But I thought it was a great size box. And then I can just leave the lid up and put whatever she's copying right on the lid. So I picked this up. I think it was around five dollars for this um, it may have been a little bit less because I had a coupon so I also picked up a ton of stuff oh I actually picked up one more thing from Michaels I picked up these watercolor books and I used a 50% off coupon with each one or I think I got them when they were 50% off so I got we're gonna be doing a lot of painting and I wanted it instead of like using loose paper I wanted a notebook for it so I got one for Leah and I plan to paint with her while we're painting so I got one for me and then I definitely wanted to save this so that's why I wanted to get like a nicer notebook but for Hunter he's still so little and sometimes he'll paint with us sometimes he won't it just depends because he's still really little so I picked up what this um, larger drawing book for him from um, this was from Target and um, I, it was a little bit less expensive, a little bit larger, so I thought this would be better for him. That way if he wants to participate, he can, but it wasn't like a huge expense. The next thing I grabbed are a few things from Amazon. I had this on my list for a long time. It is the 50 States book. We are going to be going over a state every single week, and we also are going to be doing like a state exchange on Instagram. Um, with other homeschoolers so I definitely wanted to include this in our homeschool routine uh, daily things um, so I'm super excited to get this book and then to kind of go along with that um, on Mama Schmoo's reviews she talked about um, going over a state, the states with her daughter and then coloring it in in a book and I thought that was a great idea um, and she shared this uh, book so I went ahead and picked it up too and I thought it would be fun to like go over it in this book and then also we have a coloring map 
and then I thought it would be fun to reinforce it with this book. So I picked up this. This was less than five dollars. It was really inexpensive and it talks about the capital, the flower. It was just a great addition, I thought. Then I also ordered um, this from Amazon and this was I believe two dollars and this is just going to be for like when we go over our letters and different copy work and things like that. I picked up this one. I also got this one from the dollar spot. It's a little bit larger. This one was three dollars and I thought this would be great like if we're doing name practice but if we're just doing letter practice I like the smaller board better. So I picked up one of each. This one was around two dollars and this one was three. Then I do want to start doing like a chapter book read aloud time with my daughter and a lot of people recommend it as like a first chapter book read aloud to do Charlotte's Web. So I went ahead and ordered the, this uh, edition off of Amazon. I don't know how Leah's going to do with the chapter book, but I am hoping she enjoys it. A lot of people say they start reading chapter books to their kids around age four, so I figured we'll give it a try, and what better book to start with than a classic like Charlotte's Web. So I'm super excited to read this, and I'll definitely keep you guys updated um, with how it goes. The next thing I grabbed um, are these, they're uppercase and lowercase tactile letters, and they are sandpaper textured. So I really like that they were black and white. It reminds me of the chalkboard. Um, letters and stuff so and they're textured so I really like that and I liked that I brought the uppercase and the lowercase and they were very reasonably priced where these can get pretty pricey this one was only around like 10 or 11 dollars so I thought that was a great um, deal and I just like having letters everywhere and this is a really good way to reinforce the letters that we're learning the last thing I grabbed actually I grabbed these water beads and these are for sensory bins and they're the type where they're really little and then um, you soak it in water and then they blow up. So it comes in this little container but you add water and it blows up into like jelly size um, beads. And I have been wa I started doing sensory bins with the kids a while ago, but I didn't have these bin these beads, so I would just use other things. But I've had these on my list for a while, so I'm really excited because the kids really enjoy those types of things, and I think it'll be a lot of fun to incorporate into our homeschooling. So this will be a really fun hands-on activity for the kids. Um, the last thing I grabbed from Amazon are these beeswax crayons. I just have them in this tray. They didn't come in this tray. They came in a really pretty tin that is a great storage for the crayons. But I just um, ordered this a while ago. I ordered this last year from Treasures from Jennifer. But the crayons, the beeswax crayons, are the ones I um, decided to go ahead and get. And they're the Stockmeyer brand. Um, and everyone s says that they're really, really good quality. So I went ahead and ordered these thinking of my son. Um, he has been using these, but he uh, sometimes is a little bit rough on them. So I thought these would be a better option for him and easier for him to grasp since he's so little. But I thought that would be a great addition to our homeschool supplies. And then that's all I ordered from Amazon. I also picked up some index cards from Target. These were 50 cents each. I got some that are non-lined and then some that are lined. So I just think these are good to have on hand for letter practice, math, whatever. And then the last thing I picked up I am super excited about. It is um, a shop called Chalk Full of Design and I've actually had my eye on their items for a while and they had a back to school sale. Unfortunately their sale is over by the time you see this video but they have very reasonably priced items and I picked up my items came like this and I picked up the one that is um, the travel set just because I liked all the options that it brought and I liked that it came in like a little pouch. I thought that was a really nice touch. So it brought this letter practice, capital letters. It also brought the numbers. It brought just line to practice lined um, writing, copy work. And then it brought the shapes. And I like that they're little because 
Leah, I think, does better with smaller things, so I think this is like not as overwhelming as the bigger boards. But they do have bigger boards. Mine are just smaller because I got the travel size set, so it's like the size of my head, kind of. So I'm really excited. They're super good quality. It also came with a chalk pen, um, so the kids already got into them and were scribbling all over them and stuff. So I'm really excited to emphasize our coffee copy work and handwriting practice with these chalkboards. I think that's a really nice hands-on way and kind of change it up um, a little bit. So those are the things I have ordered. I still have um, two things on my list that I would like to pick up and um, one is I need more cardstock because I do print everything myself. I go through cardstock like crazy. If you are looking for a good deal on cardstock, the best price I have found is from Sam's Club. They have their cardstock super cheap and it's really good quality. So I always buy from there. So I still have to pick that up and I have, I really would like to get a tea set um, from a thrift store. So I'm still on the hunt for that. I want to do poetry tea time with um, the kids this year. And um, I don't want an expensive tea set because my kids are four and almost two. So um, I just want a set that I can find at the thrift store that I'm not stressing about if it breaks. So I'm on the hunt for a tea set. And that'll about do it this year for our homeschool supplies. Um, so yeah, I am really excited. Let me know in the comments down below what are your homeschool supply must-haves. I'd love to hear um, what you um, think what are the necessaries for your home. I'm always looking for ideas. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy video number two of our back to school series and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another video. Bye!